Okay, so I've been doing about, I've done about 50 miles so far. Um, everything's, so far, it's been great. There's been no, no real issues. Uh, if I just um, try and, you get, uh, there's my oil pressure, oil temp. So I've just been, it's been standing still for about 10 minutes. Um, water, voltage, uh, no real issues. Um, with regards to the way the engine's running, I'm really pleased with it, to be honest with you. Uh, I've just been driving it around, um, waiting for the bits to fall off and nothing to come off yet. Um, the only major thing that's pissed me off a bit is that, is that for some reason the um, the speedo overreads by a massive amount, um, as, which is confirmed by, I've got a GPS GPS um, speedo on this, and I've also uh, checked out on the phone with the GPS as well, so they're both telling me one thing and and, um, and, and that's telling me the other, as are the odd traffic signal as well that flashes up and tells you your speed, so got a problem there. Um, but hang on, so I'll, I'll get out and I'll show you what she looks like. Okay, there we are. So I've, been, I've done a lot, so I've done about 50 miles today, uh, waiting for things, driving around, hoping that nothing does drop off, but I've uh, been carrying a, a water around with me and uh, tools and everything else just in case the worst should happen. But um, nothing nothing really has gone wrong uh, other than I, I, had a, I had a minor leak from the front diff because I'd um, I forgot to tighten up the banjo that's on the breather hose that comes out of that but that was a minor minor thing that's sorted um, yeah first thing I did this morning I took it to a local tyre shop and they uh, they sorted out the they sorted out the tracking for me well the toe in and the toe out basically so both wheels are both front wheels are, are pointing in the same direction they didn't have the gear that would do the the um, that would sort out all four wheels and the camber and the caster so that's still waiting to be done but I think I'll wait a little while do a few more miles get everything settled in suspension wise and then book in for a proper for a proper going over with uh, with someone who's got the equipment but for the moment it, it, it's um, at least both wheels are pointing in the same direction so yeah um, it's been uh, you know what it's been really nice it's been nice nice driving it it's a completely different van um, had to spend most of today really getting used to each other again really um uh, it's, it's just great with that that, that Subaru engine in. Drives like a dream, it really does. Uh, loads of work to do. Uh, still, obviously, there's uh, and, and this isn't obviously the last video either. I've got I've got work to do with replacing or, or replicating the, the 16 inch synchro strengthening on the front and a few other little bits and pieces as well. There was some strengthening that goes around the back, the sliding door, which I'll also duplicate. Um, some other bits inside too. It's at least, these these projects you never finish anyway, do you? So I'll keep on doing a, a few more um, a few more videos. I had a problem initially when I first moved the van last Sunday. I, I took it out of the garage because it felt like I was never going to get it out. Um, uh, the the um, the prop shaft on the short drive back to the, back to home where I, where I was going to park it outside. Uh, it was vibrating so much um, I, I had to basically uh, I, I had to get rid of it uh, I, I bought a, a new a new a new sliding um, sliding joint prop shaft and, and I'll cut now to a, an earlier video that shows you shows you that prop so I've got one of these um, a new brand new prop shaft it's um, this is sort out the problem with the uh, with the vibration um, what's different about this is it's different from the normal one. It's not solid. It looks at it like it is, but it's got a sliding joint at, at one end, as opposed to using the, the donut that they normally use, the rubber donut. So, yeah. Anyway, not cheap, but that should hopefully sort out my um my vibration problem and let me get on with things. Yeah, that prop is now um is now on, and uh, there's uh there's no issues with vibration. You wouldn't even know it was there. Um, Although I have to say it's not the most comfortable of rides at the moment. I've got heavy duty shocks uh, on, on, on at the moment and, um, and, and it's fairly, as, as vans go, uh, as trucks go at the moment, it's fairly lightweight with nothing inside. That'll change obviously as, as, as time goes on. But, um, but for the moment, I've got other things to do as well. I've got to, um, I'm gonna change out the, um, I've got a new tailgate that's gonna go on. That's got a wash wiper on it as well. I've got uh, some new doors, this is why it's looking at if you look at it the paint works a little bit um you can see the different color on the doors and the, and and the um and the tailgate and and made it the front because i only freshened up these the sides of the van so yeah waffling on a bit really um mainly because i'm just so happy at the moment that it seems to be working working fine i really really enjoy driving this van um 
I've filled it up, didn't fill it up with fuel, um, sort of three quarters, no leaks there either. Uh, so yeah, all I'm going to do for the moment is just keep on driving it. Um, hopefully nothing will come loose and uh, I'll come back with a few more videos at uh, a later point. Oh, one last thing, uh, uh, you see I've got the, um, the wheel the, um, the wheel arches on there as well. They're the Terra Wagon ones. Uh, it did come with, um, I've still got the 16 inch Synchro ones that, that, that the vehicle came with, um, but they, um, they're in such a, such a poor, poor, poor state that it would um, uh, it'd be a case of major turd polishing, to be honest with you, to get them to, um, in, into, any, uh, into any really um, acceptable state. I, I've still got them and I might give it a go, but uh, the only issue there, I suppose, is that the, the, they're not as wide or not as long at the back for the uh, for the back wheel there. So there's, if I was at full compression uh, at the moment with the 16 inch arms, I, I, I'm in danger, I think, of, of possibly the wheel touching. But I, at, this, at this stage, with a, the van being as lightweight as it was, it is, I don't think that's necessarily an issue. So, so yeah, anyway, um, I'll do some more videos shortly. Um, but for this one, really, is just uh, just to show that the van is is alive out of out of, out of the garage. <laughs> Finally, um, the last time I, I videoed this this van standing there was back last August, and it's now um, it's now the middle of um, middle of May. So it's been it's been a fairly long old um, a fairly long old journey, but um, with a lot of work. But yeah, it's more than worth it. I'm um, really happy with the way the, the thing drives at the moment. Oh, well, and, and also I forgot to say as well. Uh, all, all the diff locks work too so so yeah anyway I'm going to stop waffling on and um, do a bit more driving testing it out cheers